Hi everyone, this is my very first project of quilting. I am quilting for my friend who is having a baby soon. So keep up with me. <laughs> my sewing machine, thanks for Chris for giving me this machine. And I really want to make time for my hobby, arts and crafts, instead of wasting my time spending most of my day in Facebook. So I really encourage everyone to do what they like to do, whatever it is to be baking or whatever it is. Um, do it with all your heart. By the way, I got most of my stuff in Spotlight, my favorite shop. I learned from Melanie Ham in YouTube. She's my teacher. I really love her videos. That's Melanie in YouTube. She's very easy to understand. I like the way she teach. I like to do two things at the same time. So while watching TFC, I'm also doing my quilting. And if you could see, I'm wearing gloves. Uh, Melanie suggested it so it would be easier for you to hold the cloth so you could have a good grip on it while sewing. This is the place where I got my food walker from. That is Wellington Sewing Center in Kilburnie. They sell top quality products and run different classes at all levels. Plus the staff are extra helpful and friendly. And one of the ladies, her name is Shirley, I would like to thank her for being so patient in teaching me how to put the walking foot in my sewing machine. It looks a bit complicated but she made it a lot easier for me to understand on how to do it. She is one of the top quilters in the country and I'm so glad to meet her. Thanks Shirley. By the way, I asked permission if I could video her doing this so it would be easier for me to review once I get home because I'm so bad with remembering all of that stuff. <laughs> it looks a bit complicated and that's what I tend to do at work as well <laughs> but always ask permission and she's so amazing that she also showed me the right thread to use in quilting apparently I use a different kind of thread but that thread that she showed me is a lot stronger and that's my friend Stephanie back in 2015 where we learned knitting together in Wellington Sewing Center. That's her. She's my craft, arts and crafts classmate. Hi, Steph. because I'm a very patient person when it comes to the project. I want to put this all straight away. So this quilt, I've been working on this for how many hours? Just three hours and I'm nearly finished. Thanks to my teacher. 
Pictures and YouTube. I haven't really used Timbal before, believe it, believe it or not, but I just use my fingers in pushing the needle, but it's gonna be hard and eventually you'll tire out. So you could see there's a mark on my finger because I like to have a good grip of the needle. So I'll show you how the Timbal could make your life easier. So um, wear your Timbal on your middle finger and then you use the Timbal to push the needle in. That's so much easy. No stress in sewing. I'd recommend Timbal <laughs> from now on. Here is my finished quilt. It's the front and that one's the back side of it. Thanks for watching guys. Enjoy your day. Bye!